So I just moved into this new apartment and got most of the gear for my home studio setup. So I thought it'd be a good idea to film a quick little apartment home studio setup tour. We can go ahead and start over here on this side. I got this bookshelf from Amazon that is currently storing all of my photography, gear, and my books, and also a bunch of chargers. Uh, that's my lapel mic right there that I'm using to film right now. And then up here, I got some of my gimbals for the photography and video side work that I do. This is the big one for my camera, the one I'm filming with right now. And I also got a smaller one for my iPhone. And then on the side over here is the first musical stuff. So I got all my cables right here, just uh, guitar cables and microphone cables. And they're just uh, kind of stuck up on there with, uh, they're just kind of stuck up on there with those removable hooks that you can just get online. And then right here is the first guitar of my collection right here. Uh, this one's probably the nicest guitar I have. Let me go ahead and grab that real quick. It's a Guild. I got it a while ago. It was a graduation present. I don't know exactly what model it is, but it's about $500. It's the nicest guitar I had at the time, and I've had it ever since. Moving over here to the shelf, I got a few more guitars on this rack. This right here <laughs> is my first electric guitar. I got this thing when I was like 16 years old. Just one of those Epiphone starter electric guitars that cost like 150 bucks, come with a little amp and all that stuff. Um, this is still, believe it or not, one of my favorite guitars. It just plays really nice and I'm just so used to it. So I just love playing it even though it's so cheap. Over here, got another guitar. This one was given to me from my uncle. Uh, I don't know what kind it is. Tone Mods, I think it's like a custom guitar. I'm not sure, but it's just kind of like a Stratocaster model, single cuts. Sounds really nice though. And over here, I'm not even gonna try and pick it up because it's heavy, but we got my bass guitar. It is a Fender. It's kind of a unique guitar because I swapped the necks out with it with another bass guitar years ago. So it's got a modern jazz body with two humbuckers. I don't know if you can see them right there. But the neck is a Fender precision bass neck. And honestly, I got the good end of the bargain with this deal because this neck is super smooth. And the neck that came with my guitar originally had this glossy, sticky coating on it that was just really uncomfortable to play with. So, you know, really good trade off for me. I know I got cables all over the place. My cable management is non-existent right now, but you know, I'm making it work. I also got these cool lights that I got from Walmart. I can like control the colors with my phone. It looks a lot cooler at night. It's still pretty bright, but I got that one usually set to green and this one the purple most of the times and I just flip it however I want. Moving on over to this side, we got my monitors. I got the Yamaha HS8. I've had these for ever since I started producing. That was my first pair of speakers I ever got. Then down to the audio interface, I have an Audient ID14. I've had this one for a long time too, probably like five years now. I started off originally using Focusrite and like PreSonus interfaces, but I always was drawn to the audience stuff because, you know, they just got really nice preamps and I don't know, it just has a nice vibe and it was really affordable with like the quality that it is, you know, and it's still working good all these years later. Then moving on down here, got my headphones. These are, I believe the Bayer Dynamic, is it gonna focus? I don't know, probably not. The Bayer Dynamic DT 1990 Pros. They are open back headphones and you know, they're just great. I've had them since like the beginning of this year and they're my first pair of open backs I've ever had and they're just completely sound different than any other kind of headphones that I've used before in all like the right ways, you know? I believe before I had the another Bayer Dynamic pair, the most common one, like the entry level ones and those sound good, but just compared to this, these are just so much more open and the low end is just a lot more smooth and present in general. And then moving over here to my computer, I'm using an Apple laptop. I got a, one of the MacBooks with the M1 processors. I just got this monitor in the mail a few days ago recently and it's so nice having two monitors again. I've been using this small ass screen for a while and, I'm, and I've just been getting tired of it. Like, I need more space, you know? 
Moving on to here, we got my microphone. This is, I believe, an Audio Technica 40, no, AT 4050, 4040, something like that. It's a pretty good microphone. I've used, I was using like the Audio Technica 2020s for years before. That was one of my first mics I got too back in the day, and I considered it an upgrade since you know it costs probably like double the price and I think it was worth the value ever since I started using this one like vocals just sound so much more crisp and the high end just comes a lot more naturally you don't gotta EQ out so much like you did before over here we got one of my MIDI controllers this is an Akai MPK mini uh, I bought this on Craigslist for like 50 bucks a few years ago and it does the job like I never use the keypads I pretty much just use it for the keys since it's so close to my computer I can preview sounds pretty easily and then over here we have my MIDI controller this is the Arturia Keylab 88 Essential and it's just a really good MIDI controller um, it's got like a ton of bells and whistles and pads and knobs and dials I don't really use all that stuff I mostly just got it because I love the quality of the keys it feels really natural I'm also a big fan of the Alesis MIDI controllers too. I just couldn't get the 88 key for some reason. I just decided to get the Arteria one instead. But yeah, this is my current studio setup right now. I've been making music professionally since 2020 with pretty much this exact setup. Uh, mostly just the laptop before, but all the other gear has been identical. I know it's not a ton of super nice flashy high-end gear or anything, but I kind of want that to be the point of this video. Like I've been making f music full time for like three years now and I've just been using the gear that I was able to acquire slow and steady over time. It was never about getting the most expensive audio interface or the most expensive plugins. Like yeah, I started to get that stuff eventually when I could afford it, but at first I was just making do with what I had. At the very beginning it was just a laptop and an audio interface to record. When I first started making beats, right before, I was only into audio engineering. And I used a laptop and an audio interface to record a whole live band way before I started making beats. So I've always been able to just make do with what I got. So I want to be able to show other producers that too as well. To not hold yourself back and think that you need more gear. That more gear is going to solve your problems and you know lead to the successes you want in your production career. Because it's not. It's all about what you can do with the essentials just on a laptop and a MIDI keyboard and just a basic ass mic. That's all that's necessary to make a living doing this kind of stuff. But yeah, that was my home studio tour. Hope you guys enjoyed that. See you in the next one.